Good evening guys, how are we? Welcome along to this video. This is not a metal detecting video, but it is hopefully going to be some uh, returns finds from a uh, treasure trove. And that's what I'm hoping for here. As you can see it's came special delivery and uh, it's got the treasure trove stamp on it. National Museum Scotland, Chamber Street, Edinburgh. And uh, it's recorded delivery to me, of course. You'll see I've protected my address. That's because, <coughs> well, some people just like to try and get it and they don't know it. So if they want it, they're going to have to work to get it. <coughs> and uh, basically that's what I'm doing. I've protected my address. I've also protected the special delivery number. So you don't get my address either. And uh, basically, we're going to open this up. There we go. And see what comes out of it. I'm hoping it's my return fine. I've already had a few uh, finds that are disclaimed. I'll also put a forum in and show you what a disclaimed fine forum looks like. Uh, basically, when they come back from Treasure Trove, they normally email you a disclaimed fine forum for every item that's disclaimed. Uh, so, let's open it up and see what's in it. And, uh, oh, I'm surprised at that as well. But, there we go. I wasn't expecting this one back. This one is what I thought was a Roman Wrangle. No information, which is quite disappointing from Treasure Trove because they never tell me they were sending this back. But this one here is what I think is a Roman Wrangle, and somebody's been definitely playing about with it. But there we go, I think it's a Roman Wrangle. I'm going to keep that, I'm happy to have that back. <coughs> Also, there we go. Here's some disclaim finds. As you can see, there's been labelled. That's a medieval button. I'll just get that out as well. Give me a wee second, I'm just going to get it out. So, here we go. Disclaim find. Medieval button. Currently, treasure trove at 1700s. So, that's not a bad find. Happy with that, it fits in with a house that's there, so that that's definitely where these medieval finds are coming from. It was the medieval house, which is of course on the golf course, so there must have been a road there to the golf course at some point during medieval times. And that's a, a good find, a lovely medieval floral button. Moving on, <coughs> this is another disclaimed find, it's my Eddie Penny back. Pleased to see that as well, because that's the first one I've ever found. There's a few I haven't found that I would love to find, like Alexander, Robert the Bruce, Mary Queen of Scots, but there we go. First for me, Eddie the First Penny, London Mint. That was disclaimed as well, got a disclaimed fine for that. <coughs> and of course, look at this, there's my Spindle World. Haha, <laughs> poor all. Last year. That was a good find last year, you know. We find four Spindle Worlds, I think that's the most I've ever found in a year. Most of them came from the one field, so I'm very pleased with that. There we go. Four spindle worlds. Look at that, they've cleaned that one up a bit. You can see it's dots. Medieval spindle worlds. Could be 16, 1700s, maybe older. This one here probably dates 15, 1600s as well. I mean, it's hard to date them, I'm saying 16, 1700s, but I'm reckoning they're probably only a couple of hundred year old. But that's good to have a disclaimed find, you know, like Spindle Worlds or things like that. This one here, I've been dying to get this back so I can frame it. Uh, this is my silver. 16th century walking cane. Sorry, 1600s walking cane. There we go. Wow, that's absolutely lovely, the silver on that. I'll never forget when I found that at Gilston Farm. Oh, what a find it was as well. Rare. One of the best finds I've had. I love it and I'm looking forward to actually framing this one. A uh, few finds I'm disappointed about is one, there's no information with this, because I thought it was a Roman bango or maybe a part of a horse chariot. You know, like, I can amount to a horse or something like that. But, there we go, no information, so I'll have to email about that and find out 
what's going on, what they've uh, put in here is a card from Treasure Trove and it says how to, I think it's basically telling you to avoid putting substances, uh, cleaning substances such as olive oil will damage the object so there we go, they're telling you not to put anything on your, your finds. Uh, what to do if you find something, accurately record each find spot using a map or handheld GPS unit, National Grid Reference, i.e. preferred NJ. Uh, individually bag each item clearly and write the find spot on it. Fill in the reporting form and contact TTU. Include all the finds you've made, even if you might not think they're old or important. Email the image first if you are unsure. Anything unusual, contact TTT. <laughs> Sorry. TTU <laughs> and uh, or a local laboratory and archaeologist as soon as possible i.e. for an intact hoard there you go some things at treasure trove so we call it a day for this video guys but uh, I will come back to you just before I go and I'm going to show you a disclaimed find for them Good evening guys, uh, for all you guys that want to see what a disclaim fine forum looks like, this is one of my disclaim fine forum, it's one of several that have been sent by Treasure Trove, so I just thought I'd take you and show you one, because they're basically all the same except for they're labelled with different numbers. Uh, certificate disclaiming the crown's title, you'll then get your certificate number, and you'll get what the item is, which of course a 17th century lead cast button, Find spot, a guile in Butte, find a reporter's name, which is of course me. Uh, the note is issued on behalf of the Queen's Lord Treasurer and informs you that the Crown has chosen not to claim uh, this find and these finds, dash these finds, which was because I sent more than one find. Uh, basically, uh, they've all been sent back in a one which was about, I think, about eight certificates that were sent to me. It's signed by uh, Dr Natasha Ferguson at Treasure Trove Unit. Obviously the date it, which was the 21st of December 2016, which has took quite a fair bit of time to get back to me. And of course, for further information about Scottish Treasure Trove Law and how it works, contact Treasure Trove Unit, which is just basic, basic law of Treasure Trove, of course. If anybody wants to know, you can always check him out, uh, Treasure Trove TT, uh, and you'll get a little bit about the Scottish law because uh, it's definitely different from down south Wales and Ireland so it's always worth a look if you're ever going to be detecting you know in England or Ireland and Wales because the law is different from what it is here in Scotland so moving on that's just a disclaim fines for them I'm going to now go back and I'm going to talk a little bit in the video about some other things and, uh, and I'll catch you there right bye for now Right guys, I hope you've all enjoyed this video and I hope you've all enjoyed seeing some of the finds that have come back from TT and uh, and that's been a long time, they've been away months, maybe about six months that's a long time you know, for somebody to take a look at your finds but you know, these guys are busy, they're archaeologists and they're probably dealing with not just me but many people on a daily basis with finds so, you know, that's just how the system works it takes a long time and uh, I hope you have all enjoyed the video and, uh, and if I get any more information on what I thought was a bangle I'll let you know uh, but on that note guys I haven't been out for a little bit and uh, I've not been well uh, something's wrong, my medication is just double, it seems to be a double dosing me and make me unwell so I've not been out in a couple of weeks so I'm just hoping to take a, a little break for a bit but I've still got lots of videos to put up so don't worry there'll still be videos coming, there's still about 10-15 videos uploaded so there'll be one coming every three days uh, from now on hopefully every three days there's going to be a video so just keep watching guys and hopefully I'll be able to get fit and back out again soon and, uh, and I'll catch you guys on the next hunt right good luck, happy hunting and I'll catch you on the next one bye for now